Qasim, a horse merchant, was distraught because his mare was barren. He promised Baba that if his mare had a foal, he would offer the firstborn to him. By Baba's grace, the mare did have a series of foals. So he came and presented the firstborn to Baba. Baba called him Sham Karna. As this horse was brown in color with black ears and hence its name. Many devotees call this horse Sham Sundar. However, Baba called him Sham Karna because of the color of his ears. The Samadhi of Sham Karna I have often wondered why a fakir would want to keep a horse. The word Ashwa has many meanings. Ashwa means the great eater. So one can possibly say that the horse represents the destruction or eating away of our karmas. Ashwa also means infinite knowledge. This knowledge could help in dispelling the love for the transient materialistic things, thus ending the lure of temporary and worldly things and helping one on the journey from the unreal to the real. Lord Indra represents ego. He rides a horse. The Bhadarnayaka Upanishad Chapter 1 OV5 describes the symbology of the horse as follows. As it is too long, I will give a few points. The head of the sacrificial horse is dawn, the eyes the sun, its open mouth the fire called Vaishvanara, and the body is the ear, its back is heaven, the belly is the sky, its hoof the earth, its sides the four quarters or time of day. Its ribs the intermediate quarter, its genitalia the season, the joints the months and the fortnight, its yawning the lightning, its shaking of the body the thunder, its making water the rain, and its neighing the voice. The word sham literally means flawless, blazing black. But the word in Hindu mythology could mean pure and holy. It has been prefixed by other words to convey different meanings. For example, Sham Sundar is used to refer to Sri Lord Krishna and Sham Kanta to Lord Shiva. Sham Karan was the name of the horse of the Ashwa of the Ashwamedha. The Rinana band between Sham Karna and Baba was deep. At every Aarti, he danced with joy and after the Aarti was the first to bow to Baba. Baba then applied Udi to his forehead and then gave the rest of the Bhaktas Udi. The horse symbolizes the whole cosmos and it bowed before Baba and danced with joy when Baba was being worshipped. Little wonder his Samadhi is in Lendiba. The horse was housed in a room situated on the eastern side of the Dwarkamai, which is now called Sham Sundar Hall. The trainer, Khaskiwala, saw that the horse was well looked after and decked with the trappings that are now exhibited in the museum. Sham Karan was taught to stand in front of Baba, climb the steps of the Dwarkamai, and do Namaskar to Baba, and later to Baba Samadhi. At about one o'clock, the noon Aarti was performed with grandeur. At that time, Sham Karna was bedecked with a mala, anklets, tiny bells, and looked quite regal and royal. He stood in the center of the Sabha Mandap, where the marble tortoises, and waited patiently for the Aarti to start. The devotee stood on either side of him, and when the Aarti started, he danced merrily, keeping beat with the tiny bells tied to his feet. After Baba's Lalkari, he climbed the central steps of the Dwarkamai and bowed to Baba. Then Baba applied Udi to his forehead and blessed him. After this, the other devotees received Udi and Prasad. After Baba's Mahasamadhi, he attended the Artis in the Samadhi Mandir. 
and bowed to Baba Samadhi. On Vijay Dasami, he was bedecked with all the trappings and was taken out in procession. Before the processions, the devotee would take a rupee coin and wave it around his head. This was done to dispel the effects of the evil eye. On Chaudi procession days, he led the procession dancing all the way to the Chaudi. After this, when Baba entered the Chaudi, he stood facing Baba. Shamkaran died in 1945. His Samadhi is in Lendi Park. The above information was taken from the annals of the Khazgi Valleys. Krishna, Kashinath, Khasgivale, Elias, Nana Saib. Krishna ji, that is Nana Saib, was born in Karala in Ratnagiri district. He was a Brahmin of the Linmaya caste. His ancestors migrated from the coast of Maharashtra. His forefathers were brave men and well built. Jwaji Pant, Elias, Anna Khasgivala, En route to the mainland carried with him only two sets of clothes and food. On the way, he was blessed with the vision of Jyotiba, a deity. The blessing of Jyotiba enabled him to procure a job as Khasgivale or manager in the Peshwa dynasty. Hence, the title Khasgivala was conferred on him. With the title came affluence and power, and his family lived well. Nana Saib was born in the Khasgivale family at the time when the Britishers annexed the Peshwas. Some of the elders joined the British government, but Nana's father refrained from doing so. This resulted in the loss of title and poverty set in. They had ancestral Vadas and were overseers of Singwe Gaon in Nasit. Along with the loss of title, they lost everything. Sudhakar, Nana's grandson, says, Disheartened, Nana Saib wandered about here and there. Then in Nifad, he met Nana Saib Bharve, who took him to Shirdi. In Shirdi, Nana Saib found peace and decided to make Shirdi his home. Soon he became the trainer of Sham Karan, Baba's beloved horse. Nana Saib was well built and a good wrestler. But most of all, he loved horses and had a good knowledge of them. It was in 1910 or 1912 that he arrived in Shirdi. Seeing him, Baba said, Seven generations of yours had Lakshmi, wealth, and now she has left you for some time. But she will return again after a while. Indeed, at present, the family is affluent. The Khasgi Wales were responsible for starting Ganapati festival in Shirdi. Nana Saib loved to listen to Das Ganus Kirtan and his faith in Baba increased by leaps and bounds. He and his father, Bahu Saib, would often give sessions of malish or massage to Baba. When Sham Karna died, the Samadhi was made in Lendi Park. There was a board in front of the Samadhi saying, Srimant Sardar Nana Saib Khazgi Wale was the trainer of Sham Karna, who taught him to bow to Sri Sai Baba. This is the Samadhi of the fortunate horse. Now this board does not exist. However, there is a photograph with Sham Karna in the museum on the ground floor. The above information was taken from Sant Kavi Sri Darshan Das Ganu Maharaj.